Find the general solution of the differential equation y double prime plus 4y prime plus 4y equals e to the negative 2t ln t. So as always, we do our homogeneous portion of the solution in which we take the left-hand side and set that equal to 0. And with this, we can create our auxiliary or characteristic equation in which the power of r equals the amount of derivatives being taken on y. So y double prime is r squared plus 4r for 1 prime plus 4 and no prime here equals 0. So factoring, you have a solution of r plus 2 squared equals 0, in which we have a repeated root of r1 equals negative 2 and r2 also equals negative 2. Therefore, the solution for y homogeneous equals c1 e to the negative 2t plus c2 times t for the repeated root e to the negative 2t. And this is important because we need these two terms here, we will call them y1 and y2, to find our particular solution, y particular, which equals v1y1 plus v2y2. And we'll be using the Ronskin approach because it's a lot faster than systems of equations. So v1 equals negative integral of y2 times f of t over Ronskian dt, where the right-hand side is f of t, whereas v2 equals the positive integral of y1 times f of t over Ronskian dt. So, as you know from linear algebra, you use Ronskian to find out whether two equations are linearly dependent or not. So you need to take their respective derivatives. So with the determinant, Ronskian equals y1, y2 prime, minus y1 prime, y2, where y1, we said, equals e to negative 2t, and y2 equals t, e to negative 2t. So y1 prime is the derivative, so you just bring out the negative 2 in front and keep the exponent the same, where for y2 prime, you have to use product rule where f prime g plus f g prime is the derivative of this general form. We will call f t and g e to negative 2t. So derivative of f is just 1, which is just t, and you keep g the same. So e to negative 2t plus f, which we said was t, and now g prime, which is e to negative 2t, and you have to bring the negative 2 out in front. So let me rewrite that down here. And there you go. We can now plug this into Ronskian, which is y1 e to negative 2t times y2 prime e to negative 2t minus 2t e to negative 2t minus y1 prime, which was negative 2 e to negative 2t times y2 t e to negative 2t. Now distributing, you can see that that's e to negative 4t minus 2 t e to negative 4t plus 2t e to negative 4t. And these two terms cancel. So we're left with our Ronskian equals e to negative 4t. Now moving on to v1, that equals the negative integral of y2, which we said was t e to negative 2t times f of t, this whole right hand side. And we put that all over Ronskin, which was e to negative 4t dt. And you can see here, if you multiply these two on the top of the numerator, they will cancel with the denominator, which leaves us with negative integral of t ln t dt. And to evaluate this, you have to use integration by parts. So we'll let u equal the log term ln t, where the derivative is just 1 over t dt. And dv equals the remaining t, and lastly, v equals one-half t squared. So we know that for this approach, it will equal uv minus integral of v du. So let's rewrite that down here. Keep in mind the negative on the outside of this whole integral. So let's put a minus out. uv is just one-half t squared ln t minus integral of v du, one-half t squared 
times 1 over t. dt. So you can see that this can cancel with that 1 over t, distributing the negative sign. We get negative 1 half t squared ln t plus 1 half integral of t dt, which leaves us with our final v1 equaling negative 1 half t squared ln t plus 1 fourth, since you got to put a denominator of 2 and multiply that by 1 half t squared. And that's all you need to do for v1. For v2, it's a very similar approach. We take the integral of y1, which we said was e to negative 2t, and multiply that by f of t over Ronskian dt. And again, we can cancel these e terms, so all we're left with is the integral of ln t dt. And again, we have to use our uh, integration by parts. So u equals ln t once more du equals 1 over t dt, dv equals just dt, and the integral of that v equals t. So uv minus integral v du now equals t ln t minus integral of v du, which is t times 1 over t dt. Simplifying, v2 equals t ln t minus, and you can see the t's cancel here, so it's just integral of dt, which is just t. And you already may know that by memory, the integral of ln t is just t ln t minus t, but I like to do it out explicitly. Now we have everything we need to find y particular, where y particular equals v1 y1 plus v2 y2. So v1 we said was negative 1 half t squared ln t plus 1 fourth t squared y1, which we said was e to negative 2t plus v2 t ln t minus t y2 t e to negative 2t. And it's a little hard to simplify just from this. We have to distribute everything. y particular now equals negative 1 half t squared e to negative 2t ln t plus 1 fourth t squared e to negative 2t. Now on this side, plus t squared e to negative 2t ln t minus t squared e to negative 2t. And that's everything. Now let's see if we can simplify. So are there any like terms? Let's see, this term here can actually match up with this term here. And likewise for these two. So y particular equals the following. If we're taking one of these terms and subtracting it by half of itself, your remainder is half of itself. So, 1 half t squared e to negative 2t ln t. And now for the other underlined part, t squared e to negative 2t, we have a negative 1 of itself plus 1 fourth of itself, which means that we still have a negative 3 fourths of itself. So negative 3 fourths t squared e to negative 2t. And that is our particular solution. You can go one extra step and factor out some things because there are some common terms. t squared e to negative 2t can be factored out, and you simply multiply that by 2 ln t minus 3, and you bring everything over 4. So it's 1 half ln t, like you see here, minus 3 fourths of the t squared e to negative 2t term. So you can go that extra step if you want. Now for y general, as you know, it equals y homogeneous plus y particular. Now we gotta look all the way back up here. I'll start here. And we include that in the solution. So c1 e to negative 2t plus c2 t e to negative 2t plus this whole term, or this one here if you want. t squared e to negative 2t times 2 ln t minus 3 over 4. And that's everything. I hope this made sense. If it did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.